Well, we've invited several leading mayoral candidates to join us live on CP24 to reflect on the race with a month to go until Election Day. And we're joined live in studio by Mitzi Hunter. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. So there were a series of debates uh, this week. What is the one message you are trying to put out in these debates? And there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, well, I have four debates this week, and, um, you know, it's an important opportunity to speak to the people of our city and really let them know, uh, certainly from my perspective, when they elect me as mayor, these are the things that I've committed to doing. And, you know, one of my biggest commitments was making sure I provided a fully costed plan prior to voting day, and I have delivered on that promise. I have a plan that uh, that I've put out, and it's, it's a comprehensive plan. And it lets people know, you know, under my leadership, exactly what they're getting. It's fully costed, and it solves some of the biggest challenges that we have, which is fixing that fiscal hole that, and the mess, really, that, uh, that has been left there at the city. And so, you know, the people of Toronto, we love our city. It's a beautiful city. And at the same time, we know that there are some things that we can do better. The services that we provide, like fixing potholes and making sure we clear snow, you know, that costs. And so we have to make sure that we, we understand what each candidate is putting forward. Mitzi, one of the things we keep hearing about is a deeply affordable housing is needed in Toronto. And I'm curious, how do you define deeply affordable? Well, we can see it on our streets because a lot of people are homeless on our streets and, and that's because they are being pushed off that housing ladder. So we have to fix that. In my plan, I provide 2,000 supportive housing so people get mental health and wraparound supports. In addition to that, we have to have a spectrum of housing. So, you know, for low and moderate households, we want to make sure that they can afford to rent and buy and live in this city. So average market rent is the measure. And in my plan, I have 22,000 units that are below average market. And so that gives people an opportunity to be able to have somewhere to live and also put food on the table as well. Mitzi, no doubt it is a crowded race. Uh, a lot of people want to know what makes you the right candidate to be the mayor of Toronto. Yeah, and you know, I, I believe that people, I have my plan and it's, it's available on my website, mitziformayor.ca. Ask the other candidates, where is their plan? And you know, how much is it going to cost? Mine's fully costed. People know when they vote for me exactly what they're going to get. You know, we're not just waiting around for some level of government to come and rescue us, especially when they've said, no, they're not. You know, this is an opportunity to turn this city around for the better. And I have a, a vision to do that. I have a six point plan specifically on how we get more affordable housing, how we provide the services that people rely on and making sure we have the supports like mental health supports for people who need it and also a clean and vibrant and beautiful Toronto. That's important to make sure that our city is livable and it's transparent and it's fully costed and it's affordable as well. You know, I have a 50% tax uh, decrease for people who earn less than $80,000. Their taxes are only going to be 3% after a rebate that I will provide. And so that's actually a savings for them. Obviously, the most important poll is on uh, June 26th, but, uh, you know, clearly right now in the polls, Olivia Chow has a quite a large margin. With just over a month to go, what is your strategy to catch up yeah. to Olivia? Well, first of all, I would say actually to all the candidates, Ms. Chow, Ms. Bilo, uh, Mr. Saunders, uh, Mr. Bradford, Mr. Matlow, where is your plan and exactly how much are, is it going to cost the people of this city? What is the number? Be specific. I've put out a fully costed plan that is available transparently well before voting day. Where, where are the other plans? When people should know exactly what they're going to get and not just, you know, some wishful thinking. It's Yandra. We appreciate your time. Thanks for coming to the studio. Thank you. Thanks for having me.